Hi guys, Tim Presley here to teach you another trick with Taiwan Do, the nunchuck magic wand. Today I want to teach you a card trick you can do with the wand. Uh, you begin just like you would any other card trick. 90% of card tricks are pick a card. So you're going to go and have the audience or spectator tell you when to stop as you riffle through a deck. Show them the card they've selected and then you proceed to lose the card in the deck. So far, nothing unusual. It's nothing they haven't seen before. And, and, but then you introduce Taiwan Do. You can go through the, the jokes and, and some of the pattern that are uh, packaged with the wand, uh, or you can come up with uh, your, your own. Uh, but ultimately, what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up with getting the wand into the spectator's hand. Um, where they're holding the wand and they're gonna find their own card by hitting the deck. Uh, so you get the wand into the spectator's hand and they're gonna, they're gonna start waving the wand to, to hit uh, the deck. But this is where the routine builds and, and where all the comical byplay comes in because they keep missing. Um, now you don't wanna make the, uh, the spectator uh, the butt of a joke. You don't want them to uh, be a failure. So you want to communicate this in such a way that it's not their fault that they keep missing, it's your fault because you keep moving. So they, they're they gonna swing the first time to uh, to hit the deck uh, and you know, you're gonna turn away uh, to, to give them further instruction. Um, uh, or, or you're gonna get a little uh, cowardice and, and you're gonna retreat. So they're, they're gonna swing and, and when they swing you're gonna, but watch out for my fingers. Uh, and you know, they're, they're, or they're gonna swing and, and, and you're gonna, this is, you know, you're gonna wipe some sweat off your brow. You're, you're gonna do this a couple times, uh, you know, fi figure out what, what works best for you and your, and your character and personality. But each, each time they swing, they're gonna miss. You're gonna you're gonna pull away. You're gonna you're gonna step away uh, to to uh, make a comment of some sort. But eventually, uh, you do want them to hit you, not the deck. Hit you because th this is where the the effect builds and and it becomes a lot more than they they expected. Um, so they're gonna swing, and you know you're gonna lean into it this time, and they're gonna get you right on the forearm. Oh, ouch. Uh, well, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Um, you know, I hope that doesn't leave a mark. And now you're able to pull up your sleeve and reveal, ooh, I think it's gonna leave a bruise. And you show them a bruise. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well in this lighting, but a bruise with their card um, forming in it. All right, guys, I know you're, you're wondering, how did he do that? Well, it's, it's just a simple combination of uh, two ideas. Uh, my idea with Taiwan Do, the, the nunchuck magic wand, and then uh, Daniel Martin's card revelation called Bruised. Uh, I believe Bruised was originally uh, released or exclusive to Creative Magic, but later was uh, released to the entire uh, magic community, and you can find it at almost any magic shop. Um, I know for a fact Penguin Magic has it, um, and they always have good prices on everything. Um, you can achieve this bruised look uh, with stage makeup or the theatrical makeup, um, but that's a lot of work, um, especially if, if you're doing this uh, several nights a week. Um, I really, <laughs> really uh, suggest you pick up uh, Daniel Martin's uh, temporary tattoos. That's all it is. It's just a temporary tattoo that you stick on there. Uh, but uh, ingenious idea um, and, and easy easy to, to do. Um, but the routine that I built uh, with around these two ideas, uh, all the work is done up front. Um, you know, the, the, the gutsy stuff is, is forcing the card uh, at the beginning. And, and once you force the card, the rest you can relax and, and, and just enjoy uh, your audience and, and, and do this routine, you know, build a routine around it where you're having fun, the audience is having fun, and the dirty work's done, and then you have the, the big um, card revelation at the end, and, and you have your wow factor. 
So I hope you enjoy this idea. Um, if you don't have Taiwando yet, um, uh, I'll put a link below where you can get that as well. Enjoy.